If it seems too good to be true, it is too good to be true. The advice you've heard from local police over and over again, but as scammers are getting smarter and looking to cash in, it's worth repeating. Take, for example, a 61-year-old woman from Westchester. She's been scammed out of more than $600,000 in the last year. Two different scams, the same result. Bogus online relationship where the person needed, you know, perceived monetary support. And then next time it was, hey, the FBI is looking for you and there's warrants out for your arrest. In that scam alone, she lost $148,000. Last year, police say she sent someone she met on an online dating site more than $70,000 and more than $465,000 after he recently contacted her again. We don't know who the person is. I mean, it's just a, a name is just, uh, names today mean mean nothing. You can have 20 different identities. Westchester Police Lieutenant David Tivin says scams, some believable, some not, are reported every week. The victim in this case told me off camera the scammers were very, very, very convincing. Her advice, don't be gullible. And by the way, once you become a victim. If you were a fisherman and you found a place that you could throw your line in and catch a fish every time, um, and you were gonna go fishing again and you wanted to catch a fish, you know where to go. Now, police tell me these internet or phone scams are nearly impossible to solve. They're often tracking them to other continents like Europe, Asia, or Africa, and they say the prosecution rates on these things are extremely low. We are live tonight in Westchester. Jatara McGee, WLWT News 5.